Hello everyone, my name is Halvi. In this video, I'll be explaining the lore of the continent of Arcanea. Arcanea is the continent that the Fire Emblem games of Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, Mystery of the Emblem, and their respective remakes, Shadow Dragon and New Mystery of the Emblem, take place upon. Arcanea is in the same world as the continents of Valentia and Yugdro. Valentia is located west of Arcanea, and it is unknown which direction Yugdro is in. The southern regions of Arcanea are largely dominated by plains, forests, and mountains, and are where the vast majority of humans reside. The northern regions, collectively known as Henri's Way, consist of much harsher environments, including volcanic terrain, deserts, and fields of ice. These lands are inhabited by very small barbarian clans and wild dragons. Four oceans border Arcanea, Oceanus north to the north of Thabes, Oceanus Arcanea along the western coast, Oceanus Galder to the north of the Kingdom of Arcanea, and Oceanus Pyrathi to the east near Talus and Pyrathi. The Holy Kingdom of Arcanea is the most powerful of the seven kingdoms of the continent. It occupies most of the southeastern peninsula of the continent, bordering Aurelis to the north and neighboring Talus to the east. Altea is a small island nation off the mainland, situated between Cadine to the north and Dolor to the south. It also borders Gra to the east. It was once a minor province of the Holy Kingdom of Arcanea. Gra is a small island nation off the mainland lying between Cadine to the north and Dolor to the south and neighboring Altea to the west. It is a relatively young nation and was once part of Altea. Aurelis is a nation occupying the grasslands to the north of the Holy Kingdom of Arcanea and to the east of Cadine. Macedon is a nation occupying the forested land to the southeast of Dolor. It was once a part of the Dolor Empire. Talis is a small island nation lying to the east of the mainland. It has no sizable army and hires mercenaries to serve as its armed forces. Dolor is a relatively short-lived nation situated in the northwestern half of the central island landmass shared with Macedon and to the south of Altea and Gra. Cadine is a desert city in the northwestern part of the continent. It borders Altea to the south, Gra to the southeast, and Aurelis to the east. It is home to many skilled mages. Grust is a nation occupying a peninsula to the south of Cadine and Chasmir along the westernmost reaches of the continent. Chasmir is an island just north of Grust. It is connected to the mainland by a great bridge. The Thane of Ramen, a temple built by the dragons to house their greatest treasures, is located here. Henri's Way consists of three major regions that Henri had to travel through on his path to obtain Falchion. The Mammothaw Desert is in the northwest, home to wild wyverns and barbarians, and the ancient city of Thabes is located here. The Flame Barrel, also known as the Graveyard of Fire Dragons, is a place where degenerated fire dragons gather to wait for their deaths. The Ice Dragon Temple is located high in the northeastern mountains of the continent. This is where wild ice dragons live and where Goto gave Falchion to Henri. This is also where Tiki spent much of her long summer slumber. Arcanea has a very long history stretching across thousands of years. In the beginning, the entire continent was ruled by Naga and the Divine Dragons. The Divine Dragon Duma protected Naga with his military might, and his sister Mila blessed the lands, helping the dragons prosper. The Divine Dragons assisted humans in building their own civilization, which eventually became known as the City of Thabes. A human scientist named Fornius conducted many experiments 
experiments, searching for a way to bring the dead back to life. In these experiments, he created the creation that later would be known as the Fell Dragon Grima. The Senate of Thebes sealed Fornius and his creations away in his workshop in the depths of Thebes' labyrinth. Duma feared that the humans were gaining far too much power, and so he led an invasion of the city and completely destroyed it. This angered Naga, and so she wages war on Duma and Mila, who sided with Duma. Naga's army was far too powerful and soon forced Duma and Mila to surrender. They were then exiled, but as a parting gift, Naga gives them the King's Fang, also called the Falchion. This was so that they could eventually be laid to rest once they inevitably degenerate, a fate that all dragons must face. A couple thousand years later starts the beginning of the dragon's decline. Their birth rates are falling and the signs of degeneration have started to show. To avoid degeneration, most dragons, including Naga, sealed their powers into dragon stones and became manakeets. However, the earth dragons did not, with the exception of Medius. The earth dragons degenerated, becoming nothing more than wild beasts. They started to attack humans. Naga wished to protect the humans and so Naga and the divine dragons went to war with the earth dragons, resulting in the earth dragons being defeated and sealed within the dragon's table. She forged the binding shield from one of her fangs to reinforce the seal. She ordered Medius to guard the dragon's table and forged falchion from another fang in case humans would ever need the power to fight dragons. A couple centuries later, Naga died, but before she died, she placed the falchion and the binding shield in the fane of Ramen and placed her infant daughter Tiki in the ice dragon temple and ordered Goto to watch over the world. Roughly 500 years later, a thief named Audra stole the binding shield from the Fane of Ramen. He removed the five spheres from the shield and sold them, which weakened the shield's seal on the Earth Dragons. He used the funds from the spheres and the three regalia, Mercurius, Gradivus, and Parthia, to build a powerful army and conquer a large part of the continent. Audra is crowned as the first king of Arcanea, and the broken binding shield is renamed the Fire Emblem and became the crest of Arcanea. After centuries of watching his fellow Manichaeans being abused and persecuted by the power-hungry humans, Medius gathered the Manichaeans together and formed the nation of Dolor with himself as emperor. Medius ordered an invasion on the capital of Arcanea, the capital falls, and the royal family is almost entirely wiped out. Princess Artemis escaped into the village of Altea where she met Henri. Henri traveled traveled to the Ice Dragon Temple and obtained falchion from Goto. Duke Caldrus and General Ordwin of Arcanea rallied behind the Fire Emblem and built a revolution army to fight back against Medius and Dolor. Iote learned to tame wyverns and led his fellow slaves in a rebellion against Dolor from the forest of what would later become Macedon. This war, known as the War of Liberation, raged on for five years. Near the end of the war, Caldrus's army arrived at Dolor Keep but was overpowered by Medius, but then Henri appeared and used Falchion to slay Medius, ending the war and the nation of Dolor was no more. Peace was restored to Arcanea, Artemis married Caldrus, and Caldrus became king. Many new nations were founded at this time. Caldrus gave his brother Marlin the land that would become Aurelis. Henri turned the islands of his home into the new kingdom of Altea, and Falchion became its national treasure. General Ordwin went on to become king of the lands that would become Grust. Iote founded the kingdom of Macedon and became its first king, and the shield he used in his rebellion became known as Iote's shield, one of Macedon's national treasures. A few decades later, Henri died and he was succeeded by his younger brother Marcellus. This caused an inheritance dispute, which resulted in several nobles splitting from Altea to form the nation of Gra. Also around this time, Goto took Meloa and Garneth as his pupils in the city of Kadeen. Roughly 30 years later, the kingdom of Talus was founded.
Within the following 20 years or so, Goto appointed Maloa as his successor as Pontifex of Kadin. Garnef was furious, consumed with jealousy, so he stole the Dark Sphere and fled Kadin. Garnef then created his Imhulu Tome and used some unknown method to revive Medius. Medius restored his Dolor Empire, and Garnef went and manipulated the leaders of Macedon and Grust into allying with Dolor. These three nations combined possessed incredible military might and in a few short years Medius ordered an invasion on the capital of Arcanea. The entire royal family was killed except for Princess Nina who was put into custody under Camus. Elsewhere, Altea and Gra joined forces to fight back against the Dolor Empire and during that battle Garnef manipulated King Jewel of Gra into betraying Altea's King Cornelius and the Altean army was was annihilated. Garnef then stole Falchion from Cornelius' corpse. Gra continued its attack on Castle Altea itself. Marth is able to escape to Talus, but his sister Ellis was abducted by Garnef, and his mother, Queen Liza, was killed by Morzus of Dolor. The rest of the continent soon fell under the control of Medius and the Dolor Empire, except for Talus and Pyrathi. Two years later, Medius called for Nina's execution. Camus helped her escape to Hardin's protection, but was tortured and imprisoned for those actions by Medius. Nina, now under Hardin's protection in Aurelis, called for a revolution against Dolor. Marth answered Nina's call and departed Talus, and soon united his forces with Hardin and Nina's in Aurelis to form the Arcanean League. Marth and the Arcanean League then went on to liberate Aurelis, the Arcanean capital, and the surrounding towns, and Altea, and they defeat King Jewel and Gra. Camus and Grus, and King Michaelis and Macedon. Along the way, they obtain the Star Sphere and the Light Sphere and have Goto forge Starlight. With Starlight, Mars' army was able to defeat Garnef at Thebes and recover Falchion and rescue Ellis. Marth then used Falchion to slay Medius at Dolor Keep and end the war. Within the following three years, Arcanea undergoes many changes as part of the restoration efforts. Nina was forced to marry and ended up marrying Hardin as the last possible option. As Camus, her true love, was missing and the royal court would never approve of that, and she could not bring herself to break apart Marth and Sita's love as they have just announced their engagement. Prince Ubello was placed on the throne of Grust with Lawrence as his regent. Minerva ruled over Macedon and Sheena, Jewel's daughter, ruled over Gra. Hardin transformed Arcanea into the Holy Empire of Arcanea with himself as emperor and he strengthens its military. But very soon after, Hardin learned that Nina did not marry him out of love but because there was no other option and he fell into a deep depression. Garnef took notice to this and appeared in front of Hardin and offered him the Dark Sphere. The Dark Sphere quickly corrupted Hardin into a tyrant and he handed Nina over to Garnef out of spite. Hardin then ordered Marth to deploy to Grus to quell a rebellion. Marth meets a vile man named Lang who leads the Arcanean occupation forces in Grus. Marth sees that something is not right but he obeys his orders at first. Marth then gets caught up in a rebellion in Macedon and during this confusion Garnef abducted two other priestesses Maria and Lena of Macedon. After that Marth decided to turn on Lang and defeated him to protect the people of Grus. Marth then planned to talk this whole thing over with Hardin himself, but before he could, Hardin launched a surprise invasion on Altea, and with Marth being away, the capital quickly fell. Garnef kidnapped Ellis, and the War of Heroes had officially begun. Hardin then led his army into Marth's direction, but Marth was able to escape to Kadeen. Marth liberated Kadeen and was guided by Goto to follow in in Henri's footsteps and travel to the Ice Dragon Temple. At the Ice Dragon Temple, Marth learned about the truth of the Binding Shield and was entrusted by Goto to restore it. Marth returned to his home Altea and wrested control of it from the Empire. Marth then marched into the capital of Arcanea and defeated Hardin, recovering the Dark Sphere and fully restoring the Binding Shield and ending the War of Heroes. However, there is still more that Marth must do as he learns that 
Thaddeus is being resurrected for a second time by Garneth, so Marth travels to the dragon's altar, obtains starlight from Michaelis, kills Garneth and recovers Falchion, rescues the four priestesses, and uses Falchion to slay Medius for the final time. One year later, Marth marries Sita, Nina hands Arcanea over to Marth, and the other rulers of the Seven Kingdoms follow suit. Marth unites all of the continents into one nation, the Arcanean Alliance, and Marth becomes the Hero King. And that is all I have to say. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.